that through your wallet, I should say. I will be kind of unboxing and doing a whole fall winter idea for outfits. Disclaimer, I did not buy all three puffers all at once. Literally, that would just kill my bank account. Who got money to buy three puffer jackets all at once? Not me, honey. I'll be showing you all three of my TNA Aritzia puffer jackets that I own total, okay? And they're all different sizes. We have the super puff shorty, the super puff long, and also the super puff vest in all different colors and styles. So let's get straight into it. So for this puffer jacket, I think this one was like the most expensive that I've like spent on it. I'm pretty sure this was like over $300 at the time. I originally got this over in Whistler in Canada and it's super puffy. It keeps you warm, but like you need something else under it. Does that make sense? So to pair it up with the outfits that I chose, I really like to pair it up with the straight cut jeans that I kind of got from Urban Outfitters, as well as like an off the shoulder sweater. Super cute, super simple, super casual. You could literally do anything and everything, like go go shopping with this outfit. It's super relaxing and chill. Next, I have like a black turtleneck sweater dress where you can wear with black boots. You can layer it with some of your jewelry on top of that if you want. Definitely some cute ankle socks too. Ain't it super cute? I didn't think long coats are gonna be this cute, but <laughs> it is what it is with the Ritz, yeah. Now we're gonna unbox this. I put two of my other puffers in there. My second puffer that I ever got, where did I get it from? Vegas? I don't remember. I think I got this. I think I got this out of state as well when I was on vacation. It is all white. This is the Super Puff Shorty. I just love the material with it. The pattern, it kind of matches my chrome nails, like kind of shiny. It's like it's not necessarily white white, if you can tell. I don't know. It's kind of like an off-white cream shiny. A little bit of that metallic look. I personally love this, especially at night. You kind of can see the reflection of everything. Like I said, they have like the long sleeve thing attached to it love the hood what's so great is that you can also detach it but like i wouldn't advise for that just because like well at least for here in washington it literally rains like almost every day and you just never know when you know the world is just gonna cry and tears are gonna fall down from the sky so the plum colored um long i got in a double excess so it really all depends on the fabric and the style that you want for this one the reason why i got the three excess is because the shoulders are a little bit too like broad and big for me and i have really small shoulders. I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different with the black TNA crop top um, that I got from Ritzia as well. Some leggings and paired up with matching Balenciagas where, you know, a little fancy at the same time, but like a little bit sporty. You can also just like go out, wear this while you're doing errands or whatnot. It's pretty casual. Second outfit, I kind of wanted to pair with like a white crop top from Maritzia as well as like the white Floyd pants that I got from Maritzia as well. Aren't these earmuffs so cute? Like, oh my goodness, they're so soft. I got them from Zara like a year ago and like I literally want more. But you can just see how the jacket just comes hand in hand with this outfit. Like, I'm in love. Okay, so for my newest purchase um, that I've gotten recently, I was so obsessed. I got this from my boyfriend actually who gifted it to me because I reached 100K on YouTube. Thank you so much, you guys. Not only did you help me reach Milestone, but you also helped me get my boyfriend to somehow gift me this Aritzia um, vest. This one is just so cute. I got this in the double excess just because I knew that I was going to definitely wear it with hoodies or long baggy crew necks in general. Back in high school, I would like have a black vest kind of similar like this, except more flatter and it was from North Face. And now vests are kind of in the style. I just love how shiny it is, I guess, um, versus more of the dull one, just because like when you're wearing black on black, like leggings and like a black sweatshirt or whatever it already looks dull as it is also you never can find vests with actual hoods on that was what was like yes i want that i need that because all the other vests out there that i own don't have hoods for the black vest outfit this one was honestly um a lot of fun to put together just because the first outfit i kind of wanted to try yoga flare pants with the black long sleeve yes again you can wear this casual out or even hanging out with your friend like i said with the black and black how it's dull and then you can see how shiny the jacket is it kind of just stands out i personally wouldn't have ever worn a vest with like some kind of skirt or like a dress like this but it kind of looks really really good okay so that literally wraps the entire 
fall winter lookbook of the Aritzia TNA Super Puff. I know Emma Chamberlain just came out, you know, featuring herself obviously with a new collab with Aritzia. And honestly, the new colors are so cute. I was wanting kind of like a more past like the hip style puffer and like blue, like an ice blue, but homegirl's got a budget because, you know, Aritzia puffers. So is it worth it? Is it comfortable? Like, would I actually like it? Out of all of them though, to be honest with you, the style-wise, the one that I wear the most has to be this one, just because this goes along with anything and everything and no problem if you're cold from the bottom. And if it's windy, if it's rainy, it covers literally like your knees down, which I really like. These two are like the styles that I like the best in terms of pattern wise and material how it's very reflectiony and just I hope you guys liked this YouTube video. I definitely wanted to have some fun with it. And like I said, we reached 100K um, just last week. So I just want to thank you guys so much, so, so much for supporting my channel and my content. And just literally, how are you entertained by me? I don't know. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, and don't forget to turn that post notification. That way, you know, I'm always posting the entire week. And we'll definitely see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye. But does she really want to? But can't stand to see me walk out the door